thank you for coming today. I want to say that this was a politically motivated prosecution from the very beginning by the SPLC, Southern Poverty Law Center, and the Judicial Inquiry Commission with certain transgender and homosexual groups to remove me from public office because of my stand on same-sex marriage. Their efforts have failed. And today, I remain Chief Justice of the Alabama Supreme Court. I'm still Chief Justice. It's just a suspension. It's not a removal. After my suspension from office, even the federal court in Mobile, who all the papers said I offended and told probate judges to disobey, stood up for the legal basis of my order. I have a copy of Callie Grenade's order on June 7, 2016, that will be handed out to many of you. I have done my duty under the laws of this state to uphold the sanctity of marriage and the undeniable truth that God ordained marriage between one man and one woman. Mere human judges have no authority to say otherwise. While I remain Chief Justice, I have been given the longest suspension in the history of the state of Alabama, nearly two years and four months. I consider this sentence to be illegal and a clear disregard of the will of the people who elected me to the office of Chief Justice. Today's decision has hurt me financially. It has hurt me in the past. For the past many months, I have stood for this appeal to protect the judges of this state from an overbearing imposition on the offices. They are now subject to suspension without pay for the remainder of their term. And this will hurt judges of this state. But God is faithful. He is the ultimate judge, and I will wait his direction for my path. Do you have any questions? Chief Justice Moore. Well, let me get her. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Do you plan to run for U.S. Senate or governor? I'll make my plans at the beginning of next week. I will reveal my future plans. I've got to talk to my family. This is a you know, we scheduled this many months ago because we knew that this court was delaying, hoping that I would retire and not go back in as Chief Justice, not stay Chief Justice. It's very curious that 45 minutes before this conference, they suddenly appear with a 67-page opinion. Hmm. Yes, sir. Uh, Two-part question. One is uh, the first we filed a... Uh, brief with the court asking that they release the documents that have been under seal. You you added yourself on that no other media in Alabama or anywhere else signed on to this order and and they turned us down saying that all jig proceedings are now <coughs> off limits. We can't ever see them even after they are adjudicated. I don't think the public takes seriously or the press takes seriously the fact that now we have no right to know what JIC has done. Can y'all illuminate on how bad this is? Well, I consider the press and the media, contrary to what some may believe, is a bulwark of our liberties and our freedoms. They're there to protect the truth. In this case that you're talking about, there were only two parties. One is the JIC and I was the other party. I joined with your motion because I think the people have a right to know what went on in that case. Somebody is hiding something, and the people and the press should join together and find out what. It could be about the JIC. It, it is our understanding that they, there is plenty in there about the JIC. There they, is, but precedent. that is being kept sealed by not only this case, th these justices, but by earlier justices. There, the other question is, uh, <coughs> is there any other recourse for you, or is this it? Well, I'll make my future plans known the first part of next week. All of you be notified, and I will consider this with my, my wife, uh, Kayla, who's standing by me, and my family, and we'll decide over this weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Judge Moore, would your future plans possibly include staying Chief Justice until 2019? We'll talk about that first part of this week. Justice, coming Justice up. Moore, you, talked about the, you guys have talked about the corruption in the state of Alabama four above us a week ago, Monday, Robert Bentley resigned as the governor. What do you think that says about the state of politics in the state of Alabama and its Republican Party? I think there's corruption in all three branches, and it begins at the highest levels. 
and I think people should look at this stuff, look at this case specifically. When I'm accused of offending a federal district judge who then writes that the basis of my order was legal, when the Supreme Court of Alabama, who has authority over my administrative orders, did not touch it and let it go before the JIC to build this case, when it started by people who want an agenda that contradicts what 81% of the people of Alabama voted for, there is corruption in this state, and it is at the highest levels. Yeah, we got one take, more. Do you plan to take any action, political or legal, against the Court of the Judiciary or the Supreme Court? That's not my job. That's the job of the Alabama legislature, and I would encourage them to do away with this corrupt system. We have a system already in effect in the Constitution of Alabama. We're judges at the circuit level, judges at the Supreme Court level, and the legislature all have impeachment powers. They could use what's already in the Constitution and return the accountability and responsibility to elected people to oversee the morality and ethics of those under them. It's there in the Constitution already. We don't need this. Just to be clear, are you encouraging impeachment? Impeachment is part of the Constitution. Am I encouraging impeachment of whom? I think impeachment is a part of the Constitution of the United States and of the state of Alabama. You've got to understand that's part of the uh, checks and balances in a constitutional system. So I'm saying it already exists. What we have here is an unelected body who has authority to remove people or suspend them without pay for the rest of their term. That's not, shouldn't be there. 